people get nervous around scorpions, but you can kind of see why. This is the desert hairy scorpion, also called the giant hairy scorpion. Check out his stinger. It's at the end of his tail. He keeps his tail curled up until he's ready to strike. There's venom in his stinger. Venom in his stinger. He uses it to paralyze his prey so he can eat it. Blum, blum. Once it's dead, he holds it in his pincers. Many people think the scorpions are related to crabs because of their pincers, but actually they're part of the arachnid family, making them more closely related to spiders. He gets his name from the hundreds of black hairs on his body. He uses them to feel vibrations in the earth so he can tell where there's prey nearby. He likes to eat insects and small lizards. Wow, small lizards, eh? Scorpions are anthropods. That means they have jointed legs and wear their skeletons outside of their body. As they grow, they shed their skin. Remember kids, it's called molting. They can be found in the wild in the southwestern United States, such as the Mojave Desert. You can also find them everywhere in Mexico. Scorpions have a bad reputation. It's because of their venomous sting and the fact that they kind of look scary. In fact, there are over 1,700 species of scorpion, but only about 25 are dangerously venomous. Most of them, like the desert hairy, have a sting that's more like a bee sting, but you can have a serious allergic reaction. <coughs> Remember, check it out, but leave it there, and always make sure an adult knows where you are. But seriously, don't play with scorpions in the wild. It's just not a good idea.